What's up, YouTube? We're back here on Grenada Lake. We're pre-fishing for the uh, Crappie Masters Elite Series. Excited to be here. We're actually during the drawdown. It started in Aug on August 1st, and we're about eight feet down right now. It's unbelievable how low Grenada is. But we're gonna show you some places that we're fishing for this tournament, kind of uh, give up some of the secrets for the drawdown on Grenada in this first episode. But we're gonna bring you through the entire process like we normally do for the Crappie Masters Elite Series, all the way up to the stage on Championship Saturday. But this is day one, pre-fishing. We're talking drawdown. Let's get it, guys. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the 15. Oh, is it? I think that was a buffalo. I've seen him come up and out. Oh, man. We got to. All right, guys. Just want you guys to know before we get started, caught a couple fish already. We're going to another spot. We're on the schooner side, working the, uh, the east shoreline and staying shallow. So, water temperature is roughly around 75 degrees. And uh, staying shallow seems to be the key if you want big fish. If you want just regular eater size fish, for grenade, and those are still big fish, go ahead and fish those six to eight foot depths. A um, little update, we did uh, refill PTG uh, yesterday with all the three pound fishing stuff. So nasty jigs, which are the new 16 ounce jigs built for Grenada. Um, they are now at PTG. You can check them out. And they got the nice combo pack too, so you can get all the different colors and all that great stuff. Hog fishing, sniping braid, everything has been reloaded over there at PTG, so you check them out. So again, today we're on the schooner side, for the first part anyway, and uh, it just seems like the really good sized fish are gonna be shallow, and the eater size are out here. Of course, they could be everywhere, but we're also... There you go. Good fish, Mike. There you go. Nice crappie, Grenada crappie there. Solid fish, guys. Coming off a stump in the beginning of the Schooner River. Grenada fish. Fish. All right, guys. Um, first, I want to I want to start off by saying I appreciate Bait Pop uh, Fish Formula sponsoring the team. As always, they are our primary sponsor during these events. But so we really do appreciate. Mike's up there working the trolling motor right now, as you can see. Um, I'm mixing it up. Today I'm gone back to the, uh, I've got the 13 footer of course right there and I have the 16 footer there as well. Plastics, hair jigs, uh, mostly plastics are working for me today, but that's uh, also using that 16 footer which means I don't have to pitch it out as far. Um, we're kind of hiding from an east wind on this east sh shoreline of the north arm right now which we think will probably be the only play for us on the north arm if we have the north wind like that is uh, projected so that's a lot going on there but food of choice today the smoked almonds a little bit and uh check out wind rider guys so put some fish in the boat here see the fish right here guys that's the one mike's going for right there there it is. He just got him. That's very close to a tournament fish. Very close. Mm. It's 
those. Yeah. Pretty fish though. That's how it's done. Up with that. Got him. Uh, shallow, shallow, shallow. What's that? As as Big tomato crappie. All right, so probably the the hair jig I'm using the most. This week has been the, the zombie right there and uh, you can get this can check that out on the website um, it's number seven split shot 12 pound meteor they have all everything like i said earlier at ptg check them out they got them completely loaded they even have the pro spools of the 12 pound now they also have a bunch of the bait pop and fish formula products so check them out without a doubt ptg it's right here it's a quick trip from the lake and you can also call them and they'll actually send you whatever it is that you need so yeah mike's getting it going on there still so great day it was actually supposed to be 90 degrees today and it being overcast and breezy it actually feels very comfortable like 75 almost i'd say 75. so water up here during this drawdown period it's just stained slightly muddy definitely not as muddy as we're used to the other arm we were on yesterday um, is definitely muddier so we're going to be fishing that on the next episode for sure to show you the day all right guys that's going to end it but let me tell you the day did not end too shabby we found some really big fish actually found them out deep and uh, we're still kind of planning out our our plan for the tournament itself. But this is a 2.43 that we caught and uh, we were very pleased and we actually caught a couple other big ones, one sixes, one sevens, but we know those have to get bigger. But anything over two pounds, a great fish in this tournament. And uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you. We did stay on the schooner side the entire time. Again, fishing shallow, kind of some mid depths and then also some very deep depths right in the middle of the schooner river. Have a great one, guys.